Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Aaron with U-Haul. Installing a weight distribution hitch on your trailer and vehicle can really improve the safety of your towing experience. A weight distribution hitch will help distribute the weight evenly among your vehicle and trailer. This will eliminate swaying, it will improve braking and control. Let's show you how that works and how easy it is to install. So we're going to be installing the Kurt True Track Weight Distribution Kit. Now first you're going to want to make sure that your vehicle and trailer are on level ground. And to start the install we're going to need to disconnect our trailer from the vehicle to start. Let's go ahead and do that. And now we're going to pull up our vehicle to give us some room so we can get more accurate measurements. All right guys, we got our trailer on level ground. We've disconnected it from our vehicle. Now we're gonna get some measurements. We're gonna start by making sure our trailer's level, and then we're gonna get the height of the coupler. And then on the vehicle, we're gonna get our ride height from the front and rear bumper from our vehicle, and the height from the ground to the top of this receiver hitch. All right guys, this next step is really important. Our kit only comes with a two inch drop shank. Now we checked our measurements before, and we determined that we needed a larger drop so we went ahead and pre-ordered a larger shank. So we highly suggest that you guys check your measurements before you order your kit so you can do the same. We're gonna go ahead and put this into place. All right, so we went ahead and measured our shank and we've determined that for our ball mount, we're gonna mount it with the top hole of the ball mount matching with the fourth hole down. Now with our hardware, we're given two bolts. We have a short one and a longer one. The shorter one is gonna go on the bottom hole and the longer one is gonna go on the top hole for our ball mount. So let's go ahead and line that up. So we're gonna line up our ball mount with the holes that we measured out. And we're gonna put the bottom one in first. So our short bolt will hold our ball mount into place. Now we're gonna take our long bolt with this head tilt spacer. And as you can see on the end, it has these little tabs. These will line up in these holes Following our instructions, we're gonna line it up with position one, which puts the tabs in the middle hole on the bottom and the rear hole on the top. So we're just gonna line it up, we'll push it in, and then we'll put our tabs for that in there. And then we'll take our second head tilt spacer and we'll put it on the back. And then we'll install our two nuts on the back and then we'll tighten it up. All right, now we're going to go ahead and tighten up our bolts according to the manufacturer's specification. For the heads of our bolts, we're going to use a 1 and 1 8 socket to hold into place. Then we're going to use a 1 and 1 16 socket for the nut. All right, now with our ball in place, we're going to go ahead and install our spring bars. They're just going to go right here in this slot. We're going to line it up. And then we're going to take the included pin and that will secure it on. And we'll repeat on this one as well. Now we're gonna back up the vehicle and we're going to reattach our coupler onto the ball. And we're not gonna lower our trailer all the way, we're just gonna get it right as it attaches to the ball. All right, now with our coupler barely onto our ball, we're gonna go ahead and latch it on. And then we're gonna raise it up three inches. That will make it easier for us to install our spring bars later. To assemble our bracket, we have two narrow channels and one wide channel. We're gonna take our wide channel, we're gonna put on top of one of our narrow channels, and we're gonna take our provided carriage bolt and we're gonna push it through the top hole where it's the one by itself. Now we're gonna take our other narrow channel and we're gonna make sure it's the outside that we're putting our other end of the bolt in. And then we're gonna secure it with our nut. So now we're gonna put this over our A-frame in the spot we've determined. Then we're gonna take our L support and we're gonna slide it into our outside channel. And we're gonna to go to the very top position. And then we're gonna put our carriage bolt into the first position available underneath our A-frame. And then we'll attach our nut to the other end.
Now that we have our brackets all lined up, we're gonna go ahead and tighten and torque all of our bolts according to the manufacturer's specification. For these carriage bolts, we'll be using a 19 millimeter socket. And we'll repeat on this one as well. All right, now with our support brackets on, we're gonna go ahead and put our spring bars into place. We're just gonna push it in. Now, since we raised our trailer up a couple inches after attaching it to our ball, this should be really easy to do by hand. Otherwise, if it is still a little tight, you can use a provided spring bar and you'll put it in that hole right here and then you'll pull up till it goes into place. Now to secure our spring bar into place, we have this little L clip. We're just gonna push it in and take the clip on the end and push it through the hole and we'll repeat on the other side. All right, now that we have everything hooked up, we're gonna go ahead and lower it and then remeasure our points to make sure the weight is evenly being distributed. All right, now that we've made our measurements, we found that everything is level and it's all being distributed correctly. Now, if you do find that your measurements are a little off, you can change the position on your ball mount and on your L bracket, which will allow you to adjust where the weight is being distributed. All right, guys, that wraps up our install. Now, the True Track does come in different weight capacities, so make sure that you check your trailer's gross weight and your weight capacity for your hitch to make sure you get the right kit for your vehicle. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can bring it to your closest U-Haul Hitch Center and they can help you out or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.